Hey guys, Dan from SparetalkRunning.com. Oh, we are in new territory. Went to a different part, starting part that I've never been to, to check it out. Um, so we're going to explore a little bit, hopefully not get lost. I'll show you some things. All right, let's catch you in a little bit. Compared to my walk yesterday, this place is a lot, lot muddier. Some good deer tracks, though. As you can see, this part still has a lot of water. I think I'm going to turn around. Go. I don't want to go through that mud, guys. Um, there's a few other paths I'll explore. Guys, this is horrible. I am glad to clean my shoes. This is. Slippery, sloppy, wet, water, mud, and who knows what else. But coming behind a person's house, but I don't know if I'm going to go on this trail much longer. Um, definitely in mosquito. This might have been a major fail. I might not come back here. There's one other spot. May have been better, but parking was all full. So, all right. I don't know, guys. I mean, this had so much potential. I mean, look at this. It's like a little railway here. <sighs> I almost need to do this throughout the whole path. Oh well. Before I give up completely on this part, I saw a biker coming out and a person walking in on a different part of the trail uh, when I walked in. So far, this is looking a lot better, higher ground. So we're going to check this part out. Now this is interesting, guys. So it looks like it was at one time a big bridge. It fell apart and they restructured it as a small bridge. Huh. You got the river or a creek. I'm not sure if this is Rouge River or there is a creek that comes through here too. That's pretty interesting, guys. Something cool actually on this trip. I'm not sure though going off in this way. We got chipmunks and I mean, it's overgrown a lot, but we'll keep going. It looks like something else is up here. See, it doesn't go anywhere. It goes to somebody's house. Um, that's a shame. We'll find a different path. That's probably why it's overgrown. Not a lot of foot traffic through here. But we don't want to interrupt people's houses. That's not cool. Now, across this road, there are two other paths that kind of go left and right along the river um but there's plenty more on the other side of the bridge that we're going to uh to look at um because again these ones as you can see off that way and off where's my finger off that way um not bad things but there's a lot more open area that I, need, I can still discover on the other side of this bridge. I probably just thought this bridge was pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we can find. Guys, this is so much better. Oh, and it's a bigger path, at least right now, and not as many mosquitoes. I got bitten up pretty well in that first part. Oh boy. There are, I'm already swelling up a little bit. That's all right though. I'm glad I've actually found something good and didn't waste my complete day. All right guys, found something cool. You need a seat. And look how rotten out that is. And this looks like it's been on fire a couple times. Graffiti. Maybe this was on fire at one time? I don't know. 
but uh, that's pretty cool. So we continue. All right, guys, I turned around because um, as well, more and more I go on this one path, the smaller the path is getting, the denser the vegetation is getting, the more mosquitoes are attacking. Um, and I think I'll have to look at my map once I uh, get done. I think it links up to where I started from somewhere. Could be that one or there was another path that kind of went off. But I think going back this way, the way I'm co coming from, um, did that. We're going to go back to the open area because there's a few more other paths down that way that uh, we can try and see what's going on. Um, if I had, I don't know, long sleeves, I probably would uh, keep going, but besides the mosquitoes, I'm not sure, you know, what kind of ivy or oak is growing, and I really don't want to get that. So, we'll head back and explore a different one. All right, guys, I'm pausing. I'm not done yet. I want to drive to this other spot um, and see if I can park there. Before I came to this one spot, I tried to, and there was uh, too many cars. So hopefully, maybe now there'll be less cars. I'm also uh, trying out with my Fitbit because uh, it's GPS, and I know how many far I went and how long, just in case this doesn't work. But if I can pause it, go someplace else and just resume there where it starts. And then it'll be kind of cool to see what the map looks like um, on that. So far it's not telling me anything. I am bitten up though, um, pretty, pretty good. Um, I'll take a nice shower when I get home. But I uh, just want to give you guys an update why I'm in the car and we're not done. All right, hopefully I'll be able to talk to you in a second. All right, so I got to the other spot. Um, and I got the park, nobody was there. But as you walk in, there's like a big path, and there's a lot of parking, but they have it blocked off. I'm not sure why. A lot of, maybe because a lot of people are dumping. There's signs all over saying no dumping. Got to tie my shoes. Let's look at this. We found it, another one. This one's a lot more overgrown. But same tiles, kind of the same layout. Had to been a bathroom, guys. I'm not going to go that way. We're going to go back towards here because of what I saw, which kind of got me. See that pavement? But are you tired? Do you need to take a rest? I have a seat. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's go. All right, guys. I think I'm going to be calling it quits real quick here. Not that it's not fun. Not that uh, it didn't turn out to be a good day, because it did. Um, it really did, especially this, this second path. There's a lot more to adventure. Um, and it's close to that one where I was just at, so. Um, but I am getting bitten up. I don't know if you can see them. Mosquitoes and I forgot my hat, so they're buzzing all over my ears and stuff. Um, I'm getting itchy, so uh, remember if you go on the trails, <laughs> you might want some bug spray, uh, especially in the Midwest. I'm sure, other places you don't get mosquitoes like we do, but oh man, so I'm gonna start heading back. All right. This is kind of getting back to where beginning. I was talking about the open knot spot where there's plenty of places to park. I'll let you guys get a look of it. These mosquitoes are getting bad. Whew. Partly as you know why it won't be in this area, but look, we got this marsh. Plans. A lot of standing water. Just beautiful for mosquitoes. Here, you need to sit down to scratch your 
taking off of. Sorry guys, I got they're all over my legs. So it looks like this is where you could use to pull into through there into here. As you can see there are no dumping signs. There's another path out that way. And this big up in the spot. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go walk down the road a little bit. Maybe that'll be better. Alright guys, I gotta show you one little thing here, which is why I want to walk down the street. Um, as I was pulling in, I kind of saw this sign in the back of this little area. And as you can see here, Wayne County Holiday National Land, uh, Fox Land Exposition. So it's a neat little sign buried back here. And there is, let's walk this, I know I don't want to get bit up anymore, but there is a little path here. This is actually not a bad path so far. Um, it's not as veggie as the uh, other path down the road. Um, a little bit more open area. We'll just walk a little bit, guys. We don't want to walk too far because we have to walk back to the car. Plus, I wanted to get my uh, total miles in and so forth. So. I'll just go for a little bit farther down. All right, guys. Um, when I got to 10,000 steps, I turned around, so it wasn't too much farther since the last clip. Um, I am itchy. I told you that a thousand times. Um, I know you're not supposed to really scratch these um, mosquito bites and stuff, but whew, I can feel them all around my ankle. I don't know if they're still there, but it itches. So I'm gonna go home and take a nice shower, and hopefully that will help and put some I don't know, Benadryl cream or something on it. So, wasn't a bad day after a horror. Oh, there's a path there, too. Okay. You might have to check that out sometime. A bad day after a rough start. Um, but uh, we got it done. We got uh, some good time in, good miles in. Um, we'll go someplace else tomorrow. Uh, maybe back to where I was yesterday or go back to where I originally walked and, and see some of that pathway. Um, definitely not coming here um, just because of the mosquitoes. Alright guys, remember score on your feet, tailwind in your water, run hard.